She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Charlie and welcome to my channel. This is a new thing for me to try doing so I'm hoping that it works out. I don't really know at this point but I want to change the world so here I am. This is quite a heavy video to do for my first video. Um, there's a bit of a backstory to it but I'll explain what I'm doing first. In this video I will be performing one of my original slam poetry pieces the reason that this is a heavy video is that it is about explaining my illness to my younger sister. I was diagnosed when I was 15 and my younger sister would have been... Ooh, she's mine now, can you video? Six. You can tell I'm not good at maths. Um, so, I was diagnosed when my sister was six years old. Six years old is not the right kind of age to hear that your older sister who you spend loads of time with and you look up to is chronically ill and she didn't really understand what was going on even now three years later I still have to explain it to her. Um, I have um, ME or chronic fatigue syndrome it's hit me in many different ways um, hair loss, pain, I've needed cane to get around, splints serious fatigue, I'm on anti-anxiety medication, I'm on sleeping medication, I'm on really heavy um, pain medication, I've passed out, I've thrown up, it's a really horrible illness to live with and it must be even worse to watch someone who used to be really strong and energetic turn into a shell. So I wrote this after my little sister um, started crying to my mum because she thought I'd got better and I hadn't and she didn't realise that I hadn't and she found out and I had to sit down with her and explain exactly what my illness was and what was going on and the fact that it wasn't going to go away. Explaining my illness to my younger sister. I'm okay. I'll always be okay. My hair falls out because I'm stressed, because I need more vitamins. I'm okay. I'm tired because I didn't sleep well last night. I'll be okay, let's just snuggle and watch TV. My face is swollen from crying. I know I cried yesterday, but I was crying again. I'll be okay though, can I have a hug? I need a cane to help me walk, but it's okay. I'll walk properly again soon. It's okay, it's fun. I'll be okay soon, I promise. I need a bit more sleep this morning. I'll be okay, I just had a late night. These pills make me feel better. They make me sleep, they stop the pain. They make me less anxious. I'll be okay. Come and have some ice cream with me. I need the splint so I can write. I'll be okay. I just pushed down on the paper too hard and hurt my arm. It's okay. I'm sorry I snapped at you. I didn't mean to. My head just hurts so bad. I'll be okay, but can we close the curtains? It hurts. I know she said I couldn't move last night, but I'm moving now, so I'm okay. It hurt a lot last night, but that's okay. How did you sleep? Come and give me a hug. It's okay. I have another doctor's appointment. I'll be back soon. You draw me a picture while I'm gone. It's just a scan, an x-ray, a physio appointment. I'll be okay. I feel a little sick. It's okay though. Just don't sit on me for a bit, yeah? I'll be okay. I'll be okay in the end. I promise. I won't pass out. I won't faint. I know I did once, but it's okay. I won't again. I'll just hold on to this, see? I'll be okay. How do you explain a chronic illness to a nine-year-old? How do I explain that it hurt to breathe and that's why I didn't sleep? How do I explain that the pain makes me want to curl up in a ball and stay there? How do I explain that whilst the doctors are good, they can't work miracles and I'm still ill and I'll still be ill tomorrow and the day after and the day after that? How do I explain that the pain is different to falling over when falling over is all she has to compare it to? How do I explain to her that I need the corner of the sofa to support my joints? That I need a bit more help because things are more difficult for me? I'll be okay. It'll be okay. No, don't cry. I'm okay. See? I can't show that running with her in the park could leave me crippled the next day. How can I explain my illness to my younger sister when I can't even explain it to myself? <laughs> 